There's so much that I love about plants. They don't deal with time in the same way that humans do, and I find it fascinating that they're rooted in place, but they're able to move through time and space through their seeds. I study how plants cope with the challenges of environmental changes, and I do this predominantly by looking at their seeds. Oh man, every time I see a new seed under a dissecting scope, I feel like I, I often let out an audible gasp. They almost look alien-like under a dissecting scope. Inside each one of those seeds is a tiny baby plant. Some seeds can survive for years, decades, if not centuries just waiting for the right time to transition to a seedling. Last fall, we seeded over 40,000 seeds of 20 different species to link different types of seed strategies to how a plant survives under climate change and competition with other plants. Climate change is pushing plants to adapt in ways that they've never had to adapt. And my hope is that my research will help us make better decisions on where we restore, how we restore, and what species to conserve. One of the greatest challenges for me being a woman in science is I haven't always felt like I really belonged here. Now I see that rather than not belonging. I was kind of like one of those wildflowers that I study that was just waiting for the right opportunity to emerge. The L'Oreal for Women in Science Fellowship is allowing me to develop this class that I'm calling the Badass Babes of Botany to introduce students to all of the amazing women who've contributed to the field in the past and right now. I want students to see that being a scientist doesn't mean looking one particular way or doing one particular thing. If you're interested in science, then you belong here.